While the first couple games of the XFL demonstrate that this league is poised for a long run and that it's fun and innovative, the games themselves were kind of lopsided and weren't very memorable. Many fans tuned into the Guardians of Vipers game, hoping to watch a very competitive and compelling football game. What we got instead was, well, it left a lot to be desired. Felt flat, ruined by conservative choices, and the complete botched mismanagement of the quarterback position headlined this game between the Vipers and the Guardians. Overall, it was just very sloppy. Foot and there's just nobody there. He was hoping that Colby Pearson could break free. There were a couple big plays that the Guardians broke, most notably some deep passes from Matt McLoin. And some crucial tip throw interceptions. I couldn't tell if New York's a great team or if they just beat a really bad team. I'm thinking they just beat a really bad team. But we'll see. The league's new. These teams are going to end up gelling eventually. And there's a lot of football ahead of us. At least Tampa football fans are used to being disappointed. The fourth and final game of the opening weekend include the Dallas Renegades hosting the St. Louis Birds of War. So bad! So, so bad! So I mean, Battlehawks. It's tough to gauge just how good these teams are, especially with the Dallas Renegades. Down the seam, enough for a first down for Dallas. Starting quarterback Landry Jones missed this game due to injury, and I wonder how much he'll help improve this offense as it looked quite sluggish and couldn't find the end zone during the game. St. Louis's offense was orchestrated by former Ole Miss quarterback Jordan Taume, who showed off his dual threat ability while rushing for over 70 yards of offense. Dual threat quarterbacks have really opened up the offense in the XFL, and it definitely gives that team the advantage when their quarterback is able to take off and run, as we've seen in quite a few of these games. St. Louis ended up winning 15-9, making them the only team to go on the road and win in the XFL. Aside from all of that, all I gotta say is this is a fun weekend of football, and I'm sure there are a lot of people who are hungry to maintain spring football in the United States. I know I am. Thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time. And if you liked what you watched, subscribe for more XFL content. And bring an extra man, Tamu going deep again. Nice touch, and it is hauled in up the sideline.